be married or not, but uh, it seems to me that by excluding same-sex couples from the ability to marry and, and engage in this highly valued institution that um, society is actually denying itself a, another uh, another resource for stability and social order. So we learned also during the trial that racial restrictions on the right to marry were finally eliminated for good in Loving versus Virginia in 1967, ending laws like Proposition 8, which prohibited certain marriage choices for citizens that had once existed in 41 states. Proposition 8 is very, very much like those restrictions. Dr. Cott explained, because it prevents a complete choice as to marriage and designates gays and lesbians as less worthy and entitled to less honor, less status, and fewer benefits. Marriage is special, the experts tell us. Domestic partnerships and civil unions are pale comparisons. As Dr. Cott put it, there is nothing that is like marriage except marriage. And the state's approval lends prestige and acceptance to the institution. As Dr. Peplaw testified, married couples are healthier, live longer, are emotionally more stable, and better off on every measure of health. Domestic partnership is a harmful structural stigma. That's what Dr. Elon Mayer said. Moreover, removing the stigma imposed by Proposition 8 would produce powerful collateral benefits. Here is Dr. Meyer, one of the world's leading experts on stigma and discrimination. Dr. Meyer, do you see a connection between the concealment process and Proposition 8 and its denial of marriage rights? Well, again, to the extent that we see Proposition 8 as part of the stigma, as something that propagates the stigma, uh, it certainly doesn't send a message that it's okay. <laughs> you can be who you want to be. You know, we respect that. We, we welcome you as part of the community. It sends the opposite message in my mind. And therefore, would uh, I would think, um, add to that pressure, to that uh, uh, social environment that, that encourages people, some people, to conceal. And, and also, uh, when, when I talk about those effects of Proposition 8, by the way, they don't only affect gay people. They also send the same message to other people who are not themselves gay. So in that sense, it's not just damaging to gay people because they feel bad about their rejection. It also sends a message that it is okay to reject. Not only that it's okay, that it is very highly valued by our Constitution to reject a, a gay people, to designate them a, a, a different class of people in terms of their intimate relationships. I was struck, Your Honor, by that same word appearing again and again. Um, that word, okay. Um, Sandy Steer just wanted her children to feel, feel okay about who they were and who they were living with, the parents. They just want to feel okay. It was okay to be gay. But the proponents in their voter information guide that they told every voting citizen that we must protect our children from teaching that gay marriage is okay. And Dr. Meyer